Hey guys, it's Kira, and today is Friday the 15th of February and when it hits midnight tonight I'm going to be starting a 24 hour readathon and I'm going to be trying to see how many of the Harry Potter books I can read. That went well. Um, I'm going to be seeing how many of the Harry Potter books I can read in one 24 hour period. So it's going to be a bit of a challenge and I've really got no idea how many I can read. Um, and I think just in, in itself staying up for 24 hours is going to be a challenge because I'm such an old lady and I'm usually in bed by 9pm. So it's obviously currently not midnight because it's still light outside and I just thought it would be better to film the intro now while it's still light outside and while people are not asleep because obviously won't be able to speak loudly while everyone's asleep tonight. So yeah, got a few hours to go but once it hits midnight I'm going to get to reading. So it's just before 10pm in the evening and I was actually getting really tired waiting for midnight to start my reading and it kind of made me think that I was actually just waiting for midnight for no apparent reason really. So I've kind of changed my mind and I'm going to do my 24 hour readathon starting from 10pm tonight on Friday night going until 10pm on Saturday night which means that my readathon is going to start in just a couple of minutes. So to prepare I've just made myself a big cup of tea which will hopefully keep me awake for a little while and then I'm going to get started on reading my first book of the evening which is going to be Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone. So although I'm probably not going to be able to stay awake for the full 24 hours because as I said I'm such an old lady and I really need my sleep, I'm hoping to finish this book before I go to sleep because it's relatively short and quite easy to read so I'm hopefully going to finish this one before I do any sleeping and then I'll pick up with the Chamber of Secrets in the morning. Fingers crossed as long as I don't fall asleep too soon. Morning guys, so it's quite a few hours later now and I've managed to get some sleep so I'm definitely feeling less exhausted than I was at 2am. So now that it's light outside and I can actually talk at a normal volume, I thought I'd go over some of my thoughts on Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone which I obviously managed to finish before I went to sleep last night. So I was actually really surprised by how much I enjoyed rereading this one just because with it being the first one in the series and that it's directed at like a much younger audience, I always think of this one as being my least favourite in the series but I actually really really enjoyed rereading it like quite a lot. It was a great 
start to my 24 hour readathon. Um, I also forgot how little the Philosopher's Stone storyline actually takes up this book. It's sort of very targeted to like the final third of the book and most of it is actually kind of just developing this wizarding world in a really magical way and setting up Harry's friendships um, with like Hagrid and Ron and Hermione which is just wonderful to read about. And because I enjoyed reading about sort of the friendships so much this time around I thought my favourite line from the book would have to be after they've sort of gotten rid of the troll on Halloween when it says there are some things you can't share without ending up liking each other and knocking out a 12 foot mountain troll is one of them. I just thought that was like a brilliant line that really summed up this book and I really enjoyed rereading it so yeah I was glad to start the readathon with this one because it was just so enjoyable to read. So as I said it's a few hours later now it's about like quarter past eight in the morning and I've been up since about quarter to seven so I've been reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets since I woke up. It took me a little while to come around this morning but once I did I got straight to reading this one and I'm now at about page 128 I think. So um, as I said it's about eight o'clock now so I'm going to go and make some breakfast and hopefully that will give me some more energy and I'm even thinking about having a coffee and I don't usually drink coffee but I'm definitely feeling like I need the energy this morning. So yeah I'm going to get that and I'm going to try and multitask by eating my porridge and reading at the same time so we'll see how that goes. and I've just been reading since breakfast and I'm now about 215-ish pages through The Chamber of Secrets and as I said earlier I'm really enjoying this one although I really did enjoy The Philosopher's Stone I think this one is even better just because it's so mysterious right from the beginning and also you just get to jump straight into the plot because you don't have to do quite as much world building as you do in the first one so it kind of jumps straight into it and I really enjoy it and I also just love seeing all of the characters develop even further as well as some new characters like Lockhart who I think is hilarious and also you get to meet Lucius who is sort of one of them characters who you love to hate so it's really interesting to meet all of these new characters and I just absolutely love it. So as I said it's about 10am now and we're actually just heading out to go to a few shops because we need to buy a few things but I'm thinking I'm going to bring the book with me and read in the car. Um, I'm hoping I look a little bit less tired than I did earlier although my hair is still looking crazy but we're just going to deal with it and head out and hopefully get some reading done while we're out as well. <laughs> So we've just gone back from our shopping trip and I did manage to do a little bit of reading while we were there so I'm now 250 pages through Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. I think one of my favourite things about this book is the fact that it kind of balances a lot of really dark themes with some really good comic relief and one of my favourite parts where you can see that is when Harry goes to Dumbledore's office um, after like Justin and nearly headless Nick have been petrified and he's just sat there with Fox and thinking like oh my god as if I need anything else bad to happen and then the bird bursts into flames and I just think that's like a perfect example of how this book really balances the sort of funniness with the dark serious themes and I'm just really enjoying it so yeah I'm gonna keep reading this afternoon and hopefully get this finished quite soon so it's just about 1pm now which means that there are just over 9 hours still left in my readathon and I've got about 80 pages left of the Chamber of Secrets to read. Um, and aside from the fact that I quite clearly need to do something about my hair because it's crazy, I'm actually just going to go and make some lunch. Now seeing as I'm reading Harry Potter I thought that I would try and make my lunch slightly Harry Potter themed. So I'm going to make a butterbeer flavoured smoothie or at least I'm going to try to. So I'm going to put in it bananas, dates, um, cinnamon and some peanut butter and hopefully that will be really tasty. And then whilst I'm finishing that, I'm going to finish off reading Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets.
past two in the afternoon now and I just finished up reading The Chamber of Secrets and I almost forget how much happens in the last few chapters of this book, like it really picks up pace. I enjoyed it all the way through but it is so action packed in those last few chapters and I also cannot get through that chapter Aragog without literally feeling sick to my stomach because the spider scenes just make me feel so ugh. but yeah really enjoyed this book and I'm now getting straight on with reading The Prisoner of Azkaban. So it's about 20 past 3 in the afternoon now and I'm 106 pages through The Prisoner of Azkaban. I'm so happy to be rereading this one because it's in my top three of all of the Harry Potter books and I just really really love this story but I am definitely starting to feel a little bit tired now and I can feel myself drifting off if I sit down reading for much longer so it's a really really nice day outside so I Think we're actually going to go for a walk which will hopefully wake me up a little bit and then I'll get back to reading when we get home. walk and it's now just about half past four which to be honest isn't ideal because I have wasted like an hour of reading time but the good news is that I'm definitely feeling way more awake now and I'm also going to make a coffee to make sure that I stay awake and I'm going to carry on reading The Prisoner of Azkaban and hopefully finish that before I get dinner later. in the evening and I've got about 60 pages left of The Prisoner of Azkaban. I've just been to collect a vegan pizza from Papa John's so I'm going to sit and eat that and hopefully finish this quite quickly. I just finished up reading The Prisoner of Azkaban which was incredible, I really really love this story. So there are now two hours left of my readathon so I'm going to get straight started on The Goblet of Fire and see how far I can get through this book in the next two hours. So it's currently 9pm and I'm like 75 pages into The Goblet of Fire but I'm so sleepy. So I'm going to go downstairs and make myself a cup of tea which will hopefully like poke me up a little bit and help me to stay awake for the final hour until 10pm when my readathon is finished. So it's officially 10pm which means that my 24 hour readathon is now over and I managed to make it to about 129 pages through Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. My reading pace for this book definitely slowed down because I was so tired that I was literally falling asleep every other page but I'm definitely going to continue this one in the morning because out of all of the Harry Potter books in the series The Goblet of Fire is definitely my favourite but yeah that is all of my reading done for this 24 hour readathon I'm going to do a full wrap up of everything that I read and all of my page counts in the morning when there's better light but for now I'm so tired so I'm just going to go to bed 
So it's now the next day and I'm feeling a lot more awake than I was at 10pm last night so I thought I would do a little wrap up of all of the pages that I managed to read in my 24 hour Harry Potter readathon. So I started out with obviously Harry Potter and the Philosopher's Stone which is 332 pages long. Then I moved on to Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets which is 360 pages long. Then I moved on to one of my favourites which is Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban which is 317 pages long. And finally I moved on to my favourite book in the series which is of course Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire and I managed to get 129 pages into this book and although I didn't finish it I'm definitely going to finish this one off today or tomorrow because this is definitely my favourite and I love it so much but that means that in total for my 24 hour readathon I managed to read 1138 pages of Harry Potter which is a number that I'm so happy with and um, it's way more than I'd ever normally read in a day and I had such a fun time just reading Harry Potter for like 24 hours straight so yeah definitely not sure that I'll be doing another 24 hour readathon anytime soon because that one has killed me off but I did have such a fun time challenging myself Myself, and it was just a really fun series to get back into so yeah I hope you've enjoyed watching me challenge myself into reading Harry Potter for 24 hours straight and I'll see you next time. Yeah.